In this video, I'm going to share with you how to beat the cover four quarters for a one play touchdown in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It is completely free to subscribe, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. All right, guys, so in today's video, we're taking a look at how do you bomb the cover four quarters. So we're going to be working out of that cover four show too today. And I'm going to be sharing with you a specific uh, money play that I love for my New England uh, U-Trips offensive guide. This is Y off trips pads. It's one of the most unique offenses in Madden 21. It's a, basically a – it kind of combines a little bit of trips tight end, a little bit of um, – a little bit of a uh, bunch, a little bit of spread, a little bit of gun dump, a little bit of everything um, is what this really does for you. But what you want to do is you want to sub your best wide receiver, the best wide receiver on your team. You want to make sure that he is on the left solo receiver side. For us, that's going to be Devontae Adams with the route tech ability. But the play that we're going to be talking about is the PA fork. Now, if you want to get my U-Trips offensive guide, um, you can get that for just $10. I just released it yesterday. You can get the full U-Trips offensive guide for just $10. And I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video. You can be able to get that. But in today's video, we're going to specifically focus on how do you actually go about beating the cover four match defense whenever you're playing, um, whenever you're using the U-Trips offense. So here's how you going to do it what you're going to do is you're going to call the play pa fork and that's pretty much all you have to do there's really not an adjustment you have to make what i like to do personally is i like to smart route the circle receiver and then what i'm going to do here um, is i'm going to take that triangle receiver which is your running back i'm going to put him on a little out route i'm going to take the x receiver which is a tight end and i'm going to put him on an out route as well i'm sorry the running back's going to go on an option route please forgive me for that and then what i'm going to do is if I were a hot route, if I had a hot route master quarterback, I would take the R1 receiver and put him on a post or on a crossing route. Because I don't, I'm just going to simply put him on a little slant. And I'm just going to motion this R1 receiver to the left. And what you're going to see here is that we're going to basically get a nice little one on one matchup uh, over the top. As you can see with this, and I, I might have messed up my, one of my adjustments here. Let me, let me make sure that I'm in the, co uh, the cover four quarters. What's going to happen is that that square receiver, if he's your best receiver, okay, if he is your best receiver, he is going to do a really, really good job at getting open on the PA4. Essentially, what we're going to create is we are going to create a mismatch, and uh, we're going to create a just a simple one-on-one -on -one matchup. So I'm going to audible down to cover four show two here, and again, I just want you to watch. We're just going to show you this route to the square receiver. But basically, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. And because he has route tech and because he's just a very, very good receiver, he's going to most of the time beat this. Now, it is a little bit of a dice roll, as you saw right there. If it's not open, you don't obviously don't want to throw it. But let me show you. Um, if I run this, out of every four times that I run this, three of them will be one-play touchdowns against quarters. So if you watch here again, there, the double move. And then Perry Nickerson is definitely a little bit faster, so he's kind of, he's kind of shaming me right now. But let me just let me just show it to you one more time here. <laughs> um, hang with me. But if as and especially if he doesn't get pressed, like if they press out of this, it's it it, it is better for the defense. Um, if they get a press win animation, they oftentimes won't. But here, see there, roast him over the top, and then of course, uh, Perry Nickerson's actually killing me right now. I don't know why, because uh, I've ran this a million times, and and it's very rarely happened this way. So. Let me show you this one more time. If not, I'll show you the rest of the play, and uh, and we'll talk about that. But this square receiver, you see here, I mean, typically, there it is right there. You see that little glitch? That's what I was trying to get, and, and I'll show you this at instant replay. So this is what happens. Again, it, it, it's about one every – it's at least a 50%. Typically, it's a 75% time, 75% uh, of the time this is going to be a one-point touchdown. This is exactly what's going to happen. So if you watch here – and it's whether it's press or not. So here he presses him, right? But right there, you see that? See how he goes this way? That's that's what happens. That's what happens. And that's really what you're trying to accomplish. It can happen whether they're pressed or not. They don't. It's not just because Devontae Adams beat the press. As you saw in the first two examples, he beat the press and it didn't matter. Okay, so it doesn't exactly, it doesn't just mean like if they beat the press, this thing is going to work. Okay, it's like right here, I'll show you. I'll back him up. And I just want you to watch. Uh, see if we roast him again. And that time, you know, 
And most of the time, like right there, I mean, Rodgers underthrew it a little bit. But most of the time, he's going to win even if he doesn't have like, you know, 30 yards of separation. So I'll try to show you an example of that. Um, so you see here, just that right there gets over the top and then we're just lobbing it. And then at that point, it's all about the swerve. As you saw right there, all about the swerve. You're just simply swerving the receiver back and forth a little bit and getting the ball out in front. That's what we're trying to accomplish. Now, um, as far as the rest of the play goes, again, if you put that option route out there, you do kind of the, all of these things here like this, then what you're going to see is it is going to shift it a little bit, but typically this is still going to burn it. As you can see here, you still have this isolated route over the top to Devontae Adams. But now what we've created is we've created layers underneath that if that route does not work. So if that route, for whatever reason, does not work, we have solutions. And that's why the U-Trips is so powerful. So uh, we're going to use this motion slant. We're going to use this um, this route to the X receiver here. Um, you're going to see the the um, the running back can be playmakered over, over um, to the left side. You can easily playmaker the running back. Um, so you can just do you know pretty much anything that you want. Now I will say if you if you wanted to, um, if you if you leave it three by one like this right here, then what you can also do is you could take your tight end on this play and you could just put him on like a little curl. If you do that, that's gonna again just increase the match. So you're gonna have that option route more consistently. You're gonna have you know more options uh, for this. But again, you know the big thing that you want to be leveraging is that square receiver. If that square receiver gets loose and gets open. That's really what we want to work toward. Um, this circle receiver will sometimes get open. It does just depend on how the safety plays him. Um, but you see right there, I mean, look at all of that separation we get with the square receiver over the top for a one-play touchdown. Now, what that's going to cause, uh, the natural byproduct of that is an adjustment from the defense. And typically what that adjustment is going to look like is a deep half of that left side safety. So if they do something like that, then it's going to continue to kind of unravel this defense. As you start to pick the defense apart, now you're going to be able to see. And I don't know why we're. I don't know why the. I don't know why we're getting 15 million uh, pressures at me. But now what you're going to see, once they start to deep half, is you're going to be able to hit your motion slant. You're going to be able to hit your tight end out route. You're going to be able to hit your option. You know, all of those things are going to start to open up. So, again, here you'll see it. Um, we deep half on that side. But now, as you can see, I've got that motion slant all the way across the formation wide open. So, that is the U-Trips offense. That's why it's effective. And that's how to use it to be able to deal with cover four match. Now, if you want to learn more about the U-Trips, it's one of the glitchiest offenses in Madden 21, you can get my U-Trips offensive guide that walks you through step-by-step -step how to turn this offense into one of the most elite offenses in the Madden community. So you can get that U-Trips offensive ebook in the description. It's got video breakdowns. It's got written breakdowns as well. Um, but you can get that full guide in the description of this video, and you could get that guide for just $10. So it's a great deal right now on an ebook. I think it can definitely help you get better at this game. Uh, and honestly, a lot of U trips will cross apply year to year, so it's one of those ebooks that really is valid year in and year out. So, if you want to get that ebook, that is available in the description. Thanks for your time today. If you have any questions about the video, uh, go ahead and text me. My number is 208 218 6900.